front. Tom Nohilly in the light blue second as Danny Lopez in the white now takes over the second spot and Deemer begins to move up in the dark uniform. Krogan still looks good up front. 8-10, as you mentioned, the second fastest American ever at this distance, and he's a good hurdler. That's going to be important in this last lap sprint as it's down to four guys now, and it looks like the second group of three will be fighting for that second and third spot on the team. Down the back stretch for the final time, and Mark Krogan still leads the field. Lopez and Deemer right together, second and third. No Hill is starting to struggle a little bit. He's fourth, and Krogan has opened up a big advantage. Deemer is an excellent tactician. Watch him go over these hurdles. He looks like a hurdler, as does Lopez. No Hill, who is now trailing a bit in fourth on the right of the screen, has more speed than these other guys. He's a 149, 800 meter runner, but he's very bad on these hurdles. And there he had a lot of trouble on the water jump. Krogan's lead starting to vanish. And here comes Deemer to challenge. Brian Deemer on the outside now takes the lead. Krogan still there second. Lopez third. No Hill, fourth. Brian Deemer leads through the stretch. Lopez trying to hold off Krogan. Coming for the finish, it'll be Deemer. Battle for second and third. Maybe Krogan and Lopez getting the final two qualifying spots. 8.16.57, an outstanding time. They said it wouldn't be possible to run fast middle distance and distance races here in New Orleans. And I think the crowd really whipped people up in this particular race. Krogan barely hanging on there, by far the favorite in this race, and he just faded in that home stretch. And Tom Nohilly from Gainesville, Florida, went to the track in an effort to get that final spot and may have finished fourth. What an amazing story. Deemer, as I mentioned, in mid-April, thought he wouldn't even be able to run in the trials, a stress fracture in his lower back. He holds on for the victory and makes yet another Olympic team. And watch this lean at the tape. Nohilly closest to us in the blue has middle distance running experience in the 800 meters, but it just wasn't enough for him to get up for that third spot. And here are the official results in Friday night's steeplechase final. Before this race, only four Americans had ever broken 8.17. The top four finishers here, all under that mark, led by Brian Deemer.